As part of design control, we want to have a good view into the overall process of design inputs, outputs, as well as the verification and validation plans. This is typically done in Excel spreadsheets, but lacks the linkage to the business objects and the notifications to when they change. Under risk management, we see a menu selection for traceability matrix. We can open up this traceability matrix and looking at it we see the device that this traceability matrix is made for, the team responsible, we see the intended use, the indication of use, and as with all uh, or most of innovators objects we have social collaboration meaning that we can work on this as a team and document things that we find. We've also placed a documents tab just in case the intended use and the indication of use is a much larger statement that does not fit inside of these blocks. Opening the structured document shows an Excel spreadsheet style like view. At the top you see the main headings, user needs, design inputs, design outputs, verification plans, validation plans, and the results of them. It is possible to uh, minimize or collapse some of these sections. You can create many design inputs for one user need. In this case, build time has many design inputs. User needs and design inputs are represented as requirement business objects in Innovator. And by pressing the View Reference button, you will be able to bring up that business object. In this case, I'm looking at a design input and view reference. And this is the requirement that makes up this design input. One design input can have many design outputs. Here you see the design outputs for this one design input. And typically, these are things like parts, bills of materials, documents, FMEAs, and things like that. For every one design input and user need, there may be one or more verification and validation plans. A verification plan is modeled as a test specification in Innovator. Here's a design input. And here is the verification plan for design, design input. In this case, I'm opening up the design input, which is made up of several scenarios. For each scenario, there is a purpose a scenario and expected results. Results in a result file can be stored for every time the plan is executed. These results can also be seen in the traceability matrix. As shown here. It's possible as well to export this traceability matrix into Excel. Alerts on each referenced Innovator business objects are triggered if something changes. 
For example, a status change to a verification plan. This is a verification plan. It's currently in preliminary. If I view this verification plan, I'm going to change its status from preliminary to in review or released. Now the status is released. If I refresh my traceability matrix, I now get an indicator that the test specification for this verification is updated and the preliminary status may not be the current status. The user can now ignore this conflict or update this record. Now it's updated to release and it may now signify to me that I need to rerun this test specification and record new results. To author records in the traceability matrix, you simply navigate to the location and click on the cell. Innovator knows what is possible for every cell location. In this case, I want to insert a insert by creating another test specification and a result. So for this design input fabrication speed, I could create another verification plan. In this case, I'm creating a test specification. I see the new test specification was entered. And for this test specification, if there's a result, I could insert uh, the result. In this case, I'm going to say Mike Miller performed. The result was failed. He did it on this particular date. And he can provide his comments in here. there was an output file for that particular result, he is actually able to actually insert this as a file as well. If you have any questions about Minerva's medical device PLM or would like a more detailed product demonstration, please contact us at the following.